This is what you probably think a portable productivity setup looks like. A bulky laptop, chunky accessories, and a bunch of extra cables to make it all work together. And this is a lightweight, seamless setup that's pretty much able to do anything a PC can do on an iPad. This setup is designed to make working, creating, and media consumption effortless. And the best part? It all fits into a tiny bag. So why even build a portable productivity setup? Most people aren't happy sitting at their desk in their little dungeon 24 seven working in isolation. One in four people who work from home feel lonely a lot of the day. Stepping out of the home to work next to other people can help with feeling connected and less isolated. Even if you're not socializing with them, you're around other people. And now with a portable productivity setup that actually works, this is possible. This is an iPad Pro paired with a nice low profile mechanical keyboard and some other accessories. Now you can get a productive and responsive work experience on the go. But you're probably thinking, that's just an iPad Pro. You can't do anything worthwhile. And you're right, iPads are extremely limited when it comes to doing real work, like heavy photo or video editing, even multitasking. But I figured out a secret that completely changes the game. It lets me unlock everything my desktop PC can do from anywhere on this. And I'll show you how later on in the video. So when you take all the items out of the bag, there's three main pieces. You've got an 11 inch iPad Pro. This one is specifically a third generation from 2021. It's a small enough tablet to fit into a bag and it's still a powerful device even three years later after its launch. When you look closer, there's also a case that doubly acts as a stand. There's also an Apple Pencil too for note taking and drawing. Additionally, you've got an MX Master 3 in white, which is a very fitting color for any Apple centric setup. But right out of the gate, you'll notice that this keyboard isn't your average portable keyboard like an MX Keys or an Apple Magic Keyboard. This is the Nufi Air 75 V2. It's mechanical, it's smooth, it's responsive, and it's precise compared to the flat mushy keys of a typical laptop keyboard or other portable keyboards. Compared to my laptop, this setup is much more ergonomic with a detached mouse instead of a touchpad, a mechanical keyboard instead of a mushy laptop one, and I can move the screen to wherever I feel is more comfortable. So why is this keyboard a good fit for a portable productivity setup? Unlike a laptop keyboard, the Air 75 V2 is more accurate when you're typing fast. Gone are the days when your keys get stuck or don't register. Once you get used to using a mechanical keyboard, there's really no going back. You also have longer lifespans too. When you use a laptop for a long time, the first thing that goes is usually the trackpad or a keyboard key starts breaking. But with this portable setup, both of these parts are replaceable. With the Air 75 V2, if a key switch breaks, you can replace a single key because it's hot swappable. This means you can take out a singular broken switch, plop in a new one, and boom, it works like new again. You can choose your preferred sound and feel. Linears are perfectly smooth from top to bottom without a bump when you type. Tactiles have a bump that let you feel where you're actuating. And clickies have a bump, but they also make a loud click sound. You only buy that if you're wanting to use it in the comfort of your own home and you hate your ears. These switches are also pre-lubed for extra smoothness when typing. The bigger keys don't rattle either, which is nice and satisfying for working on the go. Now, unfortunately, none of them are silent switches. So you may not want to type ultra fast at a library. People are going to hear you click clacking from across the room. Unlike some other low profile keyboards like the Maggie 65 or low free flow light, Air 75 V2 doesn't have the best typing sound. It's a little hollow and stiff with its tray mount design and there's no soft bouncy feeling. While this keyboard is great and all, a portable iPad setup doesn't meet most people's standards for productivity. It's missing a lot of desktop applications. iPad OS is pretty limited unless all you do is take notes, read PDFs, and watch YouTube videos. And of course, you know, a couple apps here and there too. That's why I spent an entire day 
figuring out how to get my iPad to run as good as my PC or my heavy duty laptop. And alas, it is possible and it doesn't even take a ton of work to set it up. Now my lightweight portable setup can run Notion, Photoshop, Discord, play music, and do all those things all at the same time. The magical secret is remote access. Now this is assuming that you already have a desktop PC, but most iPad users already own a desktop PC. So this is an amazing way to access everything your PC can do without having to sit next to it all the time. There are a bunch of different apps that let you do this such as TeamViewer, Parsec, and Remote Desktop. I opted for an app called Splashtop because of its low price and quick setup. If you want to do work in your living room or your kitchen, you can use the free version of Splashtop that makes sure that you're on the same Wi-Fi network. Now, if you want to remote access in from outside your home using a different connection, you have to pay $5 a month for an all access pass, which is quite a deal if you ask me, it's five bucks. When you download the program on your computer, you want to enable auto launch. That way your computer is always ready for you to remote in as long as it's on, of course. And the best part, you get Get access to all your files still without having to put them on the cloud. So we've covered the keyboard, the tablet, and the software. Next, we need everything else to make your productivity setup more comfortable and more efficient for what you're using it for. There are four things that I recommend to take it a step Farther. One is a stand of some sort. This keeps your iPad at an angle where you can see it nicely. If you don't mind having a little bit heavier of a setup, there are $10 iPad stands on Amazon that are foldable and can hold your iPad at a good height so you don't hurt your neck looking down all the time when you're working. I prefer this one because it's part of the iPad case. It's also a lot more lightweight, but it's not the best because it isn't high up. You want the screen to match your eyes, but it's lightweight for short work sessions on the go. Two, you want a compact mouse such as this MX Master 3. This mouse is seen everywhere and I love it for productivity. It has a vertical scroll wheel as well as a horizontal one. You can toggle the scroll for stepwise scrolling or infinite scrolling. There's two buttons on the side that you can program with Logitech options. I think you do have to program it on your computer and then it'll do things separate on your iPad. And this little extension here for your thumb makes it comfortable for long work sessions. It also tilts your arm towards neutral more than a normal mouse, which feels better for your muscles. Now the MX Master 3 is a bit heavier than other mice, so keep that in mind. If you want something a bit smaller and more affordable, I would recommend going with the Logitech M720 Triathlon. It's also wireless with Bluetooth or 2.4G dongle, and it's got several reprogrammable side buttons, and it's compatible with PC, Mac, and iPad OS. Next is a good pair of ANC headphones or earbuds. Depending on what you find more comfortable, earbuds, obviously lighter weight and more portable. For longer working sessions, I prefer a pair of Sony XM4s. The ANC is amazing on this and if someone talks to you, you can use the heads up mode um, to have a short conversation and then go back to work by placing your hand on an ear cup. And these can connect via Bluetooth or a 3.5 millimeter audio connection. A single charge lasts about 30 hours and the audio quality is pretty exceptional. So put on those lo-fi beats and start working. Plus, I love how they fold up compared to some headphones nowadays that don't. And last is an Apple Pencil. This pairs perfectly with an iPad when you wanna just pick it up and take notes by hand or draw a visual or a diagram. It feels good in the hand and it has programmable buttons on the side. With this, your portable productivity setup is complete. Now you just get a small bag and you toss it in and you're good to go. I hope this video gives you ideas on how you can piece together some of your favorite tech to make a modular portable setup that suits your needs. Check out my video on the best low profile keyboards of 2024.